Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Lerner. Uh, we're talking about acquisition of citizenship in this set of videos. Uh, the video I just made uh, might be a little confusing, but I wanted to uh, list all the different years uh, of the Citizenship Acts and, and when it would apply depending upon when you were born. Well, there is, uh, as of February 27, 2001, that would be the most recent uh, citizenship law, and that would be the automatic acquisition of citizenship under the Child Citizenship Act of 2000. Now, how does, how does this apply? Well, at least one parent in the U.S. is a citizen by birth or naturalization. Either way, they, they might have come here as a lawful permanent resident and then become a U.S. citizen. Now, the child is residing in the U.S. in the legal and physical custody of the citizen parent pursuant to lawful admission for permanent residence. So that means that the child had to come to the U.S. legally, okay, uh, and had to, uh, has to be a lawful permanent resident. So there's all kinds of ways that might not occur, but if the uh, citizen parent has custody of the child and the child entered the U.S., and is here uh, as a lawful permanent resident, and the child is under 18, then automatic acquisition of citizenship occurs. So it's actually easier with the present law than it has been in the past because there is no physical presence requirements for the parents. There is no uh, difficulty if it's just the father or just the mother because as the prior videos went over, it was very difficult if it was uh, the father and had to show various things. So in this particular case, uh, the requirements uh, are relatively easy and if it occurs, then the child is automatically a U.S. citizen. So the strange part about it is you could petition a child to come into the U.S. as a lawful permanent resident and given you meet all the other requirements, the moment the child steps on U.S. soil, he or she is a U.S. citizen. So they were a resident from when they uh, got on the plane and flew to the U.S., but the moment they got to the U.S., they were no longer a resident but a U.S. citizen. So that that's a good piece of law uh, to apply if it falls in your situation. Okay, more in the coming videos.